Like that. Like this. Alright. <clears throat> Let us try and see what this game is about. New game. Anna! Anna! <sighs> there you are. Anna, it's already growing dark. You know how I feel about you being out at night. Grandpa, I'm fine. I was just finishing the chores around the farm. Oh, my dear. You needn't do so much. Come inside. Rest. It's fine, Grandpa. I like helping out around the house. I'm not so little anymore, you know? <sighs> yes. Quite right. Quite right. And I was thinking, well, maybe, maybe next week, instead of you, I can go sell our crops in the village? No. No. That is for me, and me alone. I'm sorry, my dear. It's just... the things that are out there. Promise me, you won't ever venture out into those woods. I... I promise. Good. Good. And when I do go, you must always remember, however near or far we may be, in our hearts, we carry our family. This is a tale that began in a number of places, as many often do. It began once with two sisters in a faraway school where children were cruel and misunderstood all the same. Today, however, it begins in a deep, dark wood where a very special girl indeed was about to begin a long and perilous journey. Once upon a time, there was a girl named Anna who lived with her grandfather in a deep, dark wood. He told her of all the evils that lurked outside the safety of their humble farm and warned her never to venture far. One night, however, the grandfather grew suddenly ill, yet he insisted Anna promise not to enter those woods. Her love for him was so strong that she could not and at once set out on her ill-fated quest for a cure. The brave girl traveled cautiously into those woods, wary of all the stories her grandfather had told her. Careful as she was, however, a wicked old witch, filled with the most evil of intent, followed her from dark and foggy shadow. The old woman snatched the girl away, and in the darkest corner of those cursed woods, she locked her in a great tower. The witch, you see, had plans for the girl, but the girl had an unwavering determination to save her beloved grandpa. Grandpa, what have I gotten myself into? If... if only I'd have listened to you, then... No, I can't think like that. Grandpa needs me. I have to find a way to help him. That's it. I don't know how I'll do it, but no matter what, I have to find an escape. Anna? Ah! Did you say something before? Who were you talking to? Oh, uh, just talking to myself, I guess. Hmm. Well, stop it. It's weird. And come closer. I've told you a thousand times I can't hear you properly over there. 
Uh, do we want to play the tutorial? Uh, we kinda have to, right? Welcome to the tutorial, blah blah blah, and I was conclusive. Okay. So, Anna, how are you this evening? Ah! Is this a trick question? Is this a trick question? You never care about how I am. That's nice. Now listen carefully. The time has finally come for your <laughs> experiment. Ah, exercise. Yes, exercise. Exercise? See your nice red chair over there? I need you to go on and sit in it. Um, what exactly is this exercise? Just do as I say. Uh, <laughs> that is to say, come along, dear. Nothing to be afraid of. Be a good girl and sit in the chair now. Hmm? <sighs> I'm... No, not yet. He is very cute, but I think I'll leave him where he is. Why? No, not yet. I don't really know what it is or what it does. I think that's a pretty good reason not to touch it. I that think it's a just keeps going and going. I have no idea what it means, but it's very hypnotic. I'm still not sure what that's for. I think that's a pretty good reason not to touch it. I'm still not sure what that's for. I wonder. Maybe if I have a closer look. No. No, I shouldn't. That thing seems dangerous. Maybe I should just leave it alone. Hmm. Betty. He's so big. I'll leave him there for now. What a huge teddy bear. That's what she said. Unicorn. Nope. That thing stuck fast. Oh, That's damn it. a very, very shiny horn you have there, Mr. Unicorn. And, uh, a little sharp and pointy, too. I suppose I could cut off his horn if I wanted to. Well, I have a scissor. Not now. Uh. No, not yet. What about bed? It's not bedtime. It's escaping time. I want to go to bed. Come on. Hey. I. Good. Very good. All right. Stay very still now, Anna. Was that brain now, exercise? Up, Anna. Quickly now. So tell me, do you feel different? Somehow different in your head, perhaps? Actually, yeah, I kind of do. I feel kind of, kind of, kind of sick and dizzy. Those lights were really intense. Oh. Curse you, child. That should have brought out your powers. Um... Do you mean like, pat my head and rub my tummy? Do you mean like, pat my head and rub my tummy? It's pretty tricky, but I wouldn't call it a power. Your telekinesis. Show it to me. You lost me. You've lost me. I know you have it. I've seen it. If he has it, then you must have it. I'm sorry. I really don't know what you mean. I don't have any powers. Hmm. This may be harder than I first thought. All right. All right. Go and pick up your spoon. Uh... No, that's okay. I'm not really that hungry. No, not to eat. Pick it up. Hold it out. And then think about nothing except the spoon bending. Well, come on, child. This seems rather silly, but I think the witch's patience is running out. I better just do as she says. Okay. Make a soup with spoon. No, not yet. 
big spoon? Just looking at it reminds me of the gunk the witch fed me. Blah. Cooking is obviously not one of the witch's specialties. Not now. I'm trying to take out the spoon, you son of a dingus! Uh, this is stupid. Because we first have to find it first. Ah, okay. That's bad, that's bad, that's bigger, that's curtains. So, machine, monitor, gear, headgear, teddy teddy bear. No, not yet. Just looking at it reminds me of the gunk the witch fed me. Blah. Cooking is obviously not one of the witch's specialties. <laughs> Concentrate on bending the spoon. All right, then. Here goes nothing. Mm. I don't believe it. What? What did you say? What happened? I bent the spoon? I bent the spoon? Wow. Come closer, child. I can't hear you. It worked! It actually worked! I bent the spoon! Show it to me. Hold it up to the camera. See? Look! I really did it! Yes! Yes! <laughs> Finally! It's mine! All <laughs> what is yours? All yours. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh. Uh-oh. Oh, but I still have so many things to do. So many things to prepare. Anna, don't go anywhere. Um, but there isn't anywhere to go. Yes, good girl, good girl. Oh, <laughs> The day has come at last. And she's having a blast. I'm a little uneasy about this. Whatever the witch is planning, it can't be good. Oh no, oh no. What should I do? Okay, yikes. It seems that that is best, folks. What should I do? To himself. Try to start a conversation with him. He couldn't. Yeah, whatever. Oh no. Oh no. Um, hello? hello? Is someone there? Uh, hello? Ah! Ah! You can hear me? What is this? You can hear me. Oh boy, I wasn't sure if I'd be able to talk or not. Wow, that sure is a big relief. Is this another one of your tricks, witch? Anna? Oh no, shh. Anna, you gotta be quiet. Anna? Who are you talking to? Oh no, oh no, what have I done? This is bad. The teddy bear? I, I was talking to... Oh. No one. Just myself. Again. Anna, really? <laughs> I wish you'd quit doing that already. You're <laughs> distracting me. Yeah. Well, then stop listening. Are you? Oh, I'm... I'm... Mm, I'm... Bear? No, wait. That's not right. Ben... Ben? Burn? Burshin? Oh, wait! Yes! 
It's Ben. 